hi everyone in this video you are going to learn about ratio logic ratio logic is the second type of static sema circuit design in the sema circuit design static sema circuit design there are three flavors i have given you first one is complementary sema circuit design second one is ratio logic and third one is fast transistor logic in this video especially you are going to learn about ratio logic so ratio logic is nothing but again ratio logic classified into two types first one pseudo nmos logic pseudo nmos logic and second one is DC VSL. Second one is DC VSL. DC VSL is nothing but differential cascode voltage swing logic. Okay. So DC VSL stands for differential cascode voltage swing logic and the pseudo NMOS logic we may know. Now let us see what do you mean by first one pseudo NMOS logic. So what do you mean by pseudo and mass logic? Pseudo and mass logic is another pseudo means partial. Pseudo means the general meaning is partial half. Okay. So when a pseudo and mass is considered, half of the circuit is made up of completely pull down network. What we have discussed with respect to NMOS transistors, and the pull up network is consisting of a single load resistor or load, any type of load like a transistor. So. the circuit pull up network is replaced by a resistor the circuit is replaced by a resistor or a simple transistor which is always in on state so the circuit pull up network is has this has to be replaced with the simple resistor load okay the same can be extended with a single a simple transistor as well because fabrication of resistor we can write here since the fabrication of Since the fabrication of resistance is not easy in MOS technology, hence a transistor is preferred. Okay, so a pull up network has to be replaced by a, a tra simple transistor where the transistor uh, because the trans why we are going to use a transistor because the fabrication of resistor is not easy. That's why we are moving towards a transistor. See here, this is the additional load we have connected. We have what we have done? We have removed the pull up network and simply replaced by a load resistor. Load resistor. Sir, why we need to remove this pull up network because pull up network and pull down network both gives the same logic function okay whatever the logic function implemented with respect to pmos the same can be implemented in terms of nmos logic function so then as yes, both gives the same logic function what is the necessity of designing the same with two different transistors that's why they thought in this way and removed the pull up network and uses only a simple load resistor uses only a simple load resistor so this load resistor is replaced by a number of transistors we can use like an nmos transistor with input vdd or a pmos transistor with input zero or any type of other depletion mode transistor so anything can be used here depending upon the operation of this transistor but one thing we need to keep in mind that that transistor which is connected as a load that must be always in on state means always in saturation region 
okay without that point we cannot consider so transistor whichever is connected here it is having zero input that means it make we are intentionally making the transistor to operate in the saturation region so that the continuous current flows from vdd to f output okay if pull, pull down network is on then that current goes to the ground otherwise the same current will be going to the output okay so this is the general notation and this is the pseudo nmos logic pseudo nmos logic so pseudo means partial here partially we are using a pmos transistor and partially we have used nmos logic circuit design okay so this is the reason why it is pseudo nmos logic now the the second type of uh, static cmos circuit design you can say it is a ratio logic in that ratio logic also second type is nothing but you have a differential cascode voltage swing logic the first one just now we have seen which is nothing but pseudo nmos logic so this is the second one which comes under which comes under what is this first one ratio logic okay these two will come under ratio logic what is that one is the um pseudo nmos logic another one is the differential cascode voltage swing logic now what do you mean by this uh, differential cascode voltage swing logic is nothing but differential cascode differential cascode voltage swing logic consists of consists of differential voltage differential voltage plus good voltage swing good voltage swing capability good voltage swing capability that's why the name differential cascode voltage swing logic differential cascode voltage swing logic we can say this dcvsl can have two pull down network two pull down networks see differential cascode voltage swing logic can have two pull down networks two pull down networks is nothing but one is complement to the other one is opposite action with respect to other one pull down network one and pull down network two so we should have an agreement that the pull down network is one is in on state means definitely it should be in off state we are connecting the inputs in such a way that they both should not come into on or off simultaneously okay definitely there will be a time difference okay with these assumptions here the circuit is considered here see uh, this is the pmos transistor m1 and it is the pmos transistor m2 here we have pull down network 1 below this m1 and below this m2 we are having pull down network 2 these two are cross coupled here the output of this particular pd and 2 this logic circuit is connected as the input of this pmos transistor and again here the output of this pull down network one is connected as the input of this pull up network transistor which is nothing but m2 transistor okay the advantage of connecting in this way is it gives the positive feedback it gives the positive feedback So generally amplifiers so differential amplifiers will consider all type of any type of amplifiers we have seen common source common drain common collector all these type of uh, configurations will yield negative feedback but whereas this differential cascode voltage swing logic will show a positive feedback okay see here if you observe the inputs pull down network is having inputs which are in the true form whereas pull down network is having inputs which are in opposite form true form and complemented form see here if you observe this figure you can understand a is given on the left hand side and a bar is giving on the right hand side and here also b and b bar b and b bar the same is replaced by its succeeding parallel networks 
okay this is the differential cascode voltage swing logic the main purpose of this differential cascode voltage swing logic is to avoid static current the main purpose the main purpose of the differential cascode voltage swing logic is to avoid or eliminate static current flow okay so the main purpose of this dc vls is dc vsl is to avoid or eliminate static current flow static current flow what do you mean by static current flow you suppose if you are taking a PMO, uh, cmos inverter this is the pmos transistor and it is the nmos transistor these two are connected together and here we are giving input here we are taking output phi naught it is vdd and it is the ground so if you say what we have discussed here the outputs are cross couple and here the inputs whatever the pull down network one we have taken and this output we are taking output one and this output one is acting as input for this second transistor m2 then this m1 and m2 both transistors will not come into on at the same time okay if it is in on state then this will be in off state if it is in off state then this will be in on state opposite is the same case with respect to pd1 and pd2 if it is in on state it is in off state if it is in off state it is in on state okay so we are we will not expect a situation that m1 and this pull down network on at the same time okay so that's why how it avoids the static current flow is static current flow is nothing but when pmos transistor and nmos transistor when both these transistors are in on state you may have a doubt that how these two transistors will not, will come into on state at the same time definitely it is possible in the regions of operation of this cmos inverter we have seen there are totally five different regions one two and three four and five these are the five different regions we have seen and explained the operation at this particular region 3 what about the pmos and nmos transistors both are in on state when both are in on state there exists a current flow from vdd to ground there exists a current flow from vdd to ground when both pull up and pull down network are on the current flows from VDD to ground. This current is known as this current is known as what is that? Static current. Static current flow static current flow okay so when pmos and nmos transistors are in on state there exists a because both the transistors are in means vdd to ground there, there exists a short circuit path in that situation there will be a maximum flow of current from vdd to ground okay this case should not occur in the any type of logical circuit which, which is because it is an unnecessary thing that's why DC VSL came into existence with this setup in such a way that M1 and M2 will not on at the same time. Similarly, pull down network 1 and pull down network 2 are also not in on simultaneously. Okay, so they will be having out on the left hand side and out bar on the right hand side. This out, if it is assumed to be 0, this 0 passes to the input of M2 and M2 becomes on. And similarly, as it is 0, it must be 1 and this one is connected to the input of M1 and again this transistor is in off state. So, as it is in off state, no current flow and there is no change in the pull up and pull down networks operation. 
Okay, so whatever the assumptions we have done with respect to the PMOS and NMOS transistors, the same should be the case with respect to pull down network and pull down network one and twos. Okay, so as both pull down network so as both pull down networks or uh, we can say both pull down network and what is another one pull up transistor pull up transistor will not come into on state they both will not come into on state at the same time at same time what happens then there is no there is no static current flow there is no static current flow what you have understood hope you understood this pull down network one and this m1 transistor will not come into on at the same time and similarly m2 transistor and pull down network two will not come into on at the same time okay because of this cross coupled connection because of this cross coupled connection okay so whenever this particular pull down network is in on state there exists a current flow because of that this transistor is becomes in, this transistor becomes on <coughs> and this becomes the off so this is the way how the circuits are going to be balanced in the differential cascode voltage swing logic and in this situation the outputs are also having 100 percent voltage swings from zero to vdd so differential cascode what do you mean by cascode cascode is nothing but different configuration different combination so pull up network is not there of course pull down network one pull down network two this is having input in true form and these are having inputs in complemented form okay of course both the circuits are same but the inputs are different that's why it is cascode cascode as they are cross coupled together we can say differential cascode and output gives 100 volt 100 percent voltage swing like 0 to vdd then we can say it is a a differential cascode voltage swing logic advantage is to avoid static current flow thank you